What's up, everyone? This is Hassan Shabazz from Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness. Coming at you today with another video. We want to talk about optimal health. What is optimal health? We have plenty of videos on this channel where we go into or unpack good health, what it takes to be healthy, things you should avoid, and things you should try to incorporate into your life to make you more healthy. This is a health and wellness channel deal with physical health, mental health, spiritual health. And dealing with physical health, we deal with what you put into your physical body, foods you eat. I also deal with exercise. Having good health incorporates eating healthy food and working out. Working out and not eating healthy food is no good. And eating healthy food and not doing any physical activity, that's no good. So you need a balance. You need to eat healthy and you need to work out. And in doing that, you need to incorporate into your life sudden healthy foods. There are some mainstays of healthy food that you should try to follow. And we'll unpack that as we go along. I would advise every one of you to seek a health coach, a fitness coach, have a lot, get a life coach. And many times we don't think we need assistance in moving forward in life, but we really do. That's why we, that's why there are so many specialists. If you're having any emotional issues, see a counselor, see a, a psychologist, see a psychiatrist. Don't be afraid to get help. If you if you're overweight, you have a problem losing the last 15, 20 pounds, talk to a health coach. Health coach can help you get the proper nutrition, show you what you're missing as far as uh, your diet also can help you emotionally un to understand your attachment to food and how you view food and how food affects your mental psyche. Also, go to a, when you go to the gym, if you don't know how to do e exercise properly, get with a, a fitness coach because just going to the gym and just doing your exercise and, and you if you don't do the exercise properly you're really not getting all you can out of that workout so you want to know how to do your works out workout properly how to lift weight properly how to uh, do proper push-ups sit-ups etc so very important like i said don't be afraid to seek a health coach free uh 50 minute 60 minute counseling for the first session first session is free and then from that point on, you can decide whether or not you want to continue to see a coach. But there are many coaches in, in um, around the country. Look in the uh, go online. You can find many coaches. If you are in the Virginia area, you can contact me. My um, contact information is on, on the about page on my YouTube channel. So don't be afraid to seek out a coach. As a health coach, our, our mission is to serve you, to listen to you, and to try to help you be the best version of yourself that you can be. So as, so that what does health mean to you? Everybody has a different idea of health, what optimal health is. So what does optimal health mean to you? Does it mean energy? Does it mean time? Does it mean family? Does it mean uh, love? What does good health or optimal health mean to you? You have to figure that out. But to all, in order to get to optimal health, you first have to concentrate on your food intake. 
As we said at the beginning, you cannot out exercise a bad diet. So your food choices are very important. The best diet is really not a diet, but the best habit is to eat a diet full of green vegetables, full of complex carbohydrates, full of clean protein. If you're going to eat meat as a source of protein, eat meat that is free of hormones, free of antibiotics, try to eat grass-fed beef, try to eat chicken that are free range, that are chicken that go outside and get fresh air, try to Minimize your intake of white sugar, white flour, white rice. You eat rice, try to eat brown rice. Try to limit your meat intake and increase your vegetable intake. Increase your intake of fish. Fish is a good source of fats, omega 3s. Avocados, another good source of fats, uh, omega-3s. But then after that, ensure that you get exercise. At least 60 minutes of movement, 60 minutes of workout daily. Go out, work out. Build your lungs to um, cardio exercises, fast, uh, brisk walks, power walks, if you don't run, run, jog, then also ensure that you do push-ups, ensure that you lift weights, and men especially should get on the weight, weight, lifting weights helps to increase the testosterone levels in men, so lifting weights, lifting, lifting is very important. So, make, but then make sure that you take vitamins, but don't take vitamins as your main source of nutrients. Vitamins should supplement, but make sure that your, that your food that you intake is full of nutrient-based foods. So with that, we want to leave you and see you, uh, hope to see you in the next video. Peace.